Welcome to Mr. Bell Kitchen today. Today I would like to thank all my subscribers, all my viewers. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe when you look at it. Today I'll be making some enchiladas. Today I'll be using it in my Power XL. Also for my subscribers and my viewers that don't have a Power XL, I will be using my oven. So I'll be doing a power exhale and I'll be using the oven so everyone can look and all my subscribers can look. I don't want to leave no one out during this pandemic. Everyone get a chance to look to see what Mr. Bell cook. Today my enchiladas I'll be using two pounds of ground beef. I'll be using some taco shells and some soft taco shells. I'll be using some black olives some enchilada sauce and some refried beans and some Nutella extra sharp white cheese, Nutella extra sharp yellow cheese, some green onions, white onions, garlic, orange bell peppers, green bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, red sweet bell peppers, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of seasoned salt, and one teaspoon of salt. And to start it off, I'll be putting a little olive oil inside to skid it. And this is cooking with the family during the pandemic. This is why I started to give people an idea how to cook with their family, with their kids, their spouse. Get your kids off the gadget, off the phone, off the thing. Get them in the kitchen with you, involved in what you're doing. And now I'm going to get started. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil and pour in this get it. I'm just gonna eyeball this olive oil, put it in here. This is what I'm gonna use to just saute my onions and my garlic in this and get it ready for the ground beef. I'm gonna put that back like that. And I'm like, my oil is hot. I'm gonna put my garlic in there and I'm gonna saute this. Get all it out there like that. Put my onions in. I'm just going to stir that up a minute. Saute them just for a little while. To get that smell and everything. It's just, yeah, like that. Just get them brown just a little. Get them nice and good. Okay, my onions and my garlic, I've sauteed them, they're nice and brown. I'm gonna take my meat and put it in here. My hands is clean, so I'm just gonna get all that in there. And I'm just gonna smash this up like this. As you can hear, it's frying real good. Let it sit just like that. Let it cook. Just pop it up for a minute. Let it sit. As you see, my meat is getting nice and brown. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the rest of the seasoning in it and just sprinkle it all over it like that. Put this black pepper in all over. A little salt over. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mix it up real good. Let it go all over. Now I'm slicing up my olives, getting them nice and ready for the enchiladas that I'm making. As you see, everything is time and patient. So I'm going to just slice these up real nice. So I'm going to use these on them, make everything nice and delicious. I'll open up my enchilada sauce. I'm just going to open that up. I'm going to get ready to pour it in the pot and put it in there. Just pour everything in there. And I'm going to simmer on that and let it, get, let it cook. All right, my sauce is nice and good and hot. So it's ready. 
So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start my refried beans and get them together so we could get these enchiladas on the roll. And like I say, my sauce is good. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a little of this sauce and I'm going to put it over here in, in my meat for a minute and get it nice and good. And I'm going to stir that up. Put it up in here like that. About five or six spoons of it in the meat. Like that. Now I'm going to stir that up again. Stir it up like that. As you see, I'm putting my taco shells in here ready for my enchilada. So I'm just going to let them sit and get warm before I get ready to let them get nice and, let them get nice and warm. And everything, get them softened up a little bit in this pan right here. And then we're going to be ready to make these enchiladas. Okay, now I'm going to open up my refried beans and get everything on the road right here. Open this up and I'm going to see how they look. Put them in the pot and I'm just going to heat them up just a little bit and get ready to put everything together. As you see, it looks like it'll be nice and easy coming out of that pan because it's nice and oily and everything should pour right out. Right in this pot right here, as you see, it come right out the pan. I'm gonna take my spoon, I'm just cut these right in half and let it just go down this pot. Looking nice and good. Yeah, and I'm going to just chop these beans up, these refried beans, and let them just be real nice in this pot. Okay, let that cook for a minute. I'm just going to put a little sauce in this pan, and I'm going to just spread it out so when I flip my enchiladas over, it'll be sauce on the enchiladas too when I turn it back forward. And just do it like this, and just let that... Put a little more right here, so that way the sauce be all over. All right, put it like that. Okay, I'm just gonna sit my shell on that, just dip it like that, and put it over here. And I'm gonna get started with these enchiladas. Put a little, put a little beans in there, like that. Just get a little meat and put it in there. Like I say, you um you can put how much you want in it, however you want to do it. Any kind of meat you want to put, use chicken, shredded beef, or whatever you want to use, you can use in it. But I'm just doing it this way and um, putting little different greenies in it and over it, just trying something new and. Get a little cheese, which the cheese is grated up real nice and good. As you see, my daughter grated up this cheese. I just gotta show you something about this extra cheese. It's so nice and fluffy, it's so smooth. You feel like you can just eat it like that. Also, also the yellow cheese she grated up for me, and it's just so smooth the way she grated up and everything. And this look good just like this, really. I can just dig in myself and eat it right now. But I'm just going to roll it and do it the right way. And I'm going to fold it. I, actually, I probably put a little too much, but it's good. And I'm going to put it in the pan. And like I said, these enchiladas going to be delicious. And now I'm putting my sauce on top of it, too. So it'll be nice and good. As you see, these enchiladas is looking good in this pan. And now I'm gonna just put a little, I'm a, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just toss a little of my peppers I have left over it. And um, just put a little of the green onions, just sprinkle that on it like that. 
just sprinkle that like that all over and just make that look so good. And these enchiladas are going to be so good to everyone just going to enjoy these enchiladas. Like I say, I haven't made none of these enchiladas in a long time. But since I'm back in the kitchen, I'm going to be cooking different things in the Power XL, cooking different things regular. And I'm just going to be cooking different things and I'm just put a little, little extra white cheese on the top of it. Like that, and just sprinkle that just like that so this cheese could just melt all on it and everything. Everything be nice and soft and good. And just put it like that. Get a little of this extra cheese right here, the yellow cheese, and sprinkle that on there like that. And top it off like that and just let it melt all over there like that. And then what I'm going to do, put it like that, yeah. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw a little olives on the top of it. And just throw a little of them and get a little, little good stuff like that. Like that, do it like that. And just like that. And... And I'm going to throw a little meat on top of it. Put a little meat on top of it. Just sprinkle a little more of this good meat. Season up real nice and good. Just put it like that. That look good. Just shake that all over. Over there. Just put a little. Yes. Now that's gonna be good. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna set this at, I'm gonna put it on bake first of all, and I'm gonna set it for 375. And it's on 375, then I'm gonna go to the, to the minutes, and I'm gonna set it for, I'm gonna set that for 20 minutes. Set it for 20 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna press start. I'm gonna let it preheat a little bit. As you see, it's preheating the oven zone. So I'm gonna let it warm up for a minute before I put the enchiladas in there. Okay, I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna set these enchiladas in there. And I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna press start. Okay, I'm gonna press cancer and I'm gonna open this up and see what it looked like. I'm going to take these enchiladas out and sit it right here. As you see, they looking good. I'm not going to touch them because the pain is awful hot. I'm back. I just got finished making the first batch in the oven of the enchilada. For those of you who don't have a power XL, I made it in the oven. Now, I'm going to be making it for the ones that have power XL. I'm going to be making some flour enchiladas in the power xl as you see i took my grill plate out i'm ready to start doing my enchilada shells right here on the stove and i'm going to take my flour tortilla shells and just put them in here right here and just let them get nice and warm i'm going to put four in at a time so we can get these enchiladas on the road i'm going to let them get warm right here in this nice little skillet now I got my power exit L pan. I'm gonna just put a little sauce in it and put it round in there just a little. And put it in there so it'd be nice. Like that. And now I'm gonna start rolling them. As you see, I put a little sauce in there. I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna start rolling and put them in. I'm putting the I'm putting the beans in. I'm gonna put the little meat on this one. Like that, just throw that little meat on there. And I'm gonna throw me a couple olives on it. Like that. 
put a little cheese on it. Put some cheese like that, a little this cheese. Put a little onions on it. Then I'm gonna put a little sauce on it. Just put a little sauce. Reason I'm putting a little sauce, cause when I get through, I'm gonna put a lot of sauce on top of it. It's gonna soak in, and I'm gonna put it in like that, just like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna set it to power XL. And by the way, I already put the enchiladas in, and I'm gonna set. I'm gonna bake. I'm gonna set the timer. Now I'm gonna set this for five minutes. The enchiladas and the power XL cook faster, so I'm gonna set it for five minutes. And I'm gonna press timer. I'm gonna go set this for 375. Set it for 375 and I'm gonna press start. Okay. It say add food, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open it up, and I'm gonna put this little sauce on it that I have left in here. Just spread it all over here, like this. Just spread it in there good, and spread it all over these enchiladas. Like that. And I'm just gonna spread it. Then I'm gonna take this this little little meat I have. And I'm just gonna put it over it like that. Put it in like that, and just let it go all over it. Put it in like that. Like I say, this is my first time making enchiladas in this power XL. So I'm gonna put it like that, and then I'm gonna put a little cheese over it. Let that cheese just melt real good over it. Sprinkle that in there like that. Get a little of the rest of the other cheese and put over it. Let it melt. I got a little onions, green onions. I'm going to throw on top of there like that. And I'm going to put the top down. And that's going to be like that. I'm going to put the top down. And I'm going to press start. Okay, I'm going to press cancel. It's done. Press cancel, and I'm going to raise this up, this top, and see what see what they look like. They're looking good. The cheese is melted on it and everything. I'm going to take it out and sit it right here. And sit it like, sit it like that. And like I say... These the ones cooking in the Power XL, and this is in the oven. And I cooked two dishes today, one in the oven, one in the Power XL. And that's cooking with the bells. We did it again. If you like it, subscribe. Leave a comment in the box. Thank you.